Honor reached out to us to do a sponsored showcase of their new flagship for 2019, the Honor View 20. And this is a really flashy phone, both on the outside and on the inside, and with heat pipe cooling. Let's get into it. First things first, the screen. And wow, that's a dynamic wallpaper if I ever saw one. Anyway, this is actually the first all screen display with a hole punch style selfie camera that we've had here in our studio. And you know what? I've got to say, between the intrusiveness of a giant notch and the more gimmicky solutions like sliding phones that have a lot of question marks still about their reliability, this ended up looking like a far more reasonable compromise than I initially thought. You've still got just about the entire status bar to fill up with notifications. And meanwhile, it has a self-reported 91.8% screen to body ratio. Another cool thing is that Honor is still treating it like a notch. So they're still giving you the ability to hide it and putting in virtual bezels when you're watching full screen content in landscape mode. So bottom line, until we start to get camera under screen tech over the next hopefully year or two, this hole punch style is only gonna grow in popularity. And the way Honor has done it on the View 20 is pretty cool because unlike punching a hole through all of the layers of the display, except for the glass, like Samsung does on their A8, Honor says that this front camera only partially penetrates the screen, which is apparently an advantage, since not only does it make it a bit less of a weak point where your screen is susceptible to breaking, but each layer that the camera intersects with has the potential to leak light onto the camera sensor. Not a bright idea. Now the camera itself is pretty small and unobtrusive. It's four and a half millimeters, or a little under 3 16ths of an inch for our friends in the US and A, and they were able to get it this small using a technique where the liquid crystals in the LCD's neighboring pixels will allow light to pass through to the 25 megapixel front camera. Now, some of you may have noticed that the View 20 already comes with a screen protector applied to its 6.4 inch 19.25 by nine screen, but it also comes packaged with a basic plastic case, which is clear so you can show off this crazy glass back. Now Honor has done flashy iridescent backings in the past, but this is the first time that they've used nano optical lithography to give it this really funky chevron pattern. I think it looks freaking awesome. Taking it off though, the sides of the phone are metal, giving it a nice premium feeling. And then around the rest of it, you'll find a USB type C, a single down firing speaker. So no stereo sound, unfortunately, but at least it's positioned so that it won't get covered by your hand in landscape mode. It's got dual nano SIMs with dual standby support. And finally, a headphone jack. Nice. Wrapping up our tour of the outside of the phone, we've got the rear cameras. So the View 20 is one of the first devices to use Sony's IMX586 sensor, which combines a big half inch CMOS with tiny 0.8 micrometer pixels to deliver a 48 megapixel camera that's got a ton of zany features from 960 FPS slow motion video to AI clarity mode, which takes a bunch of pictures at once, then uses all of the information to make a brighter, more detailed composite to the ability to slim a person in video in real time so you can enhance your body to get the perfect look anytime, anywhere. James, can, can we try this? Here's shaping level five. Now all of these AI focused features are of course enabled by the View 20's Chiron 980 processor, which has two NPUs or neural processing units, as well as an eight core CPU and making its first commercial appearance, the Mali G76 GPU. It also comes with six or eight gigs of 2133 megahertz RAM and 128 or 256 gigs of storage with each tier corresponding to different color options. The coolest thing about this device though is what Honor calls the Nine, which is a cooling solution that was first showcased at the Honor Note 10 conference in China back in December, 2018. 
It's a nine layer thermal design, including things like a copper alloy shield, an S-shaped copper heat pipe, and a graphene heatsink. And it's not the only gamer focused feature in the View 20. It also sports three Wi-Fi antennas, since the usual two antennas on a handset can be susceptible to being blocked by your hands when you're gaming in landscape mode. Like if you think about it, your hands are basically made of water. RF does not like water. So the extra antenna is on the back of the phone over by the volume button here where you're less likely to cover it. And the phone will automatically switch between antennas according to which one has the strongest signal. The aim here was to deliver a more consistent gaming experience. And you should have lots of time to gain that XP with the View 20's 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's pretty generous actually. Like we've seen batteries this size on gaming phones, but a lot of the time they end up being quite thick. And the mainstream stuff, like even the plus size tends to be around the 3,500 milliamp hour range. So that's pretty nice to see. Finally, Honor's purple USB cable means that this phone supports supercharging. So the phone is rated for a full charge in 90 minutes or 55% in 30 minutes. So thanks to Honor for sponsoring this showcase video. You can check out the View 20 and its neat accessories, including their gaming grip at the link below. And thanks to you guys for watching. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.